Delmar. Um, our regular organist isn't actually here tonight. I don't actually know 30 minutes worth of music to get up here and play it live. So we're going to do something a little bit different before the beginning of the movie. I do a lot of the maintenance and technical work on this instrument, so today I kind of want to give you guys the opportunity to ask a couple of questions about this. I know you guys come out to the movies a lot running on all of its original systems, and kind of what that means is everything back there is controlled by pneumatics. Everything that does whatever you want it to do is all air. To open a valve to play the pipe, it's all air. To open the valve to hit the gong, it's all air. Um, so it's, it's quite fascinating really how it works. It's completely fast in how it plays. It's, it's very difficult to help play this instrument. So before I do anything else, does anyone have any questions or just anything that you want to ask me pertaining to this instrument? Now, I can't see anything, so be loud, be, be, be up there, and uh, right down there, what have you got? Sure. Sure. Oh. It's, it's a line, it's, it's, it's sort of a Mayan motif. The Fisher Theater, when it was first built, uh, a lot of the large movie palaces kind of had their little theme to them. Uh, and the Fisher, they went for a more sort of Mayan South American design. Uh, there's actually a picture above the um, above the uh, piano of the Fisher on opening day. You can see this organ down in there. Uh, it was and because they wanted to attract people to their theater. It was a palace. You had the Mayan designs, the palm trees in the lobbies. And I was told at one point there were actual tutons that the guests would see when they come in to see the uh, the movie. So that's where the design comes from. Um, here we had a different. Uh, design in the theater, but because this hasn't been changed, that's why it still looks like that. Yes? The Rudolph Wurlitzer Company doesn't, it, it went under quite a while ago, I don't know exactly when. Pipe organs are still manufactured, mainly for churches. No one's really building theater organs anymore, but there are several. Can you guys hear me all right, or is that better? Yeah. Better, all right. There are several there are several companies that still build church organs and classical organs, and there are several people who are you know experts on these that restore them. But there's actually a plethora of theater organs available. You can go to any organ factory in the United States, and they have something like this in storage, just sitting around. Um, Rudolph Wurlitzer Company builds uh, almost 2,000 organs um, in the course of less than 10 years. Some manufacturers dating back to box time have never even built that from the 1700s and back. They churned these out, and there's plenty of them uh, still around to keep instruments like this going. Question? In the middle there? Yeah, hi. Could you hit the gong again? Yeah. <laughs> several different sound effects on this that they used for uh, silent movie accompaniment, and not just the actual organ bits, you had stuff like there was a fire siren. Uh, There's a set of birds, I have two of them. And there's all sorts of untuned percussion and different types of bells, such as chimes, and we just had this guy restored up here. a lot of uh, percussion as well. Questions? Down there in the front. When this was originally built, how was the air generated? Um, we have the original blower and turbine in the basement. There's a, a large electric, that's four horsepower? 25. 25 horsepower. Um, some church organs are on smaller wind pressure, but there's a large electric motor in the basement and uh, a turbine system down there that uh, provides air for this instrument. And then it's all regulated inside, so each pipe gets a specific amount of air, so everything sounds um, as it should. Too much air or too little can also affect how the instrument sounds, so everything's kept pretty well regulated. Yes, the, the turbine, the air blower, the blower is all original. The piping is not, it was installed, it was moved here, but yeah. Uh, the regulators, the air system, the blowers, the tremulants, the relay system, everything except for the fact that it's here is still original. Any more questions? They're, on the organ, they're not actual violin strings, but what's on the organ are, um, they're very harmonic sounding pipes. 
and there's a pipe that's set with it that's tuned slightly sharp of the other pipes that gives you a really nice chorus effect.
people. And how he said, blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. And how he said that King Solomon in all his glory was not as beautiful as the lilies of the field. And I know you won't forget it, judge not that she's being judged, because I explained that to you. And then the good Lord went on to say, beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. You shall know them by their fruit. The widow, the little bottom bell is hit away on a sugar bowl. Lord, I am tired. Sometimes I wonder if you really understand me. Not that you might kill us. Your book is full of killers. There are things you do hate, Lord. Perfume, smelling things, lacy things, things with curly hair. Right at the end. Now that I'm no longer employed by the penitentiary, it is my joy to bring this small comfort to his love. It's a mighty good man would go out of his way to bring a word of cheer to a grieving widow. So you ain't been mistaken, no No, brother, as I know yesterday. The heart-rending spectacle of them poor men was just too much for me. Ah, little lad, you're staring at my finger. Would you like me to tell you the little story of right hand, left hand? The story is good and evil. H-A-T-E. It was with this left hand that old brother Cain struck the bow that made his brother home. L-O-V-E. You see, these fingers, dear hearts, these fingers have veins that run straight to the soul of man. The right hand, friends, the hand of love. Now watch and I'll show you the story of love. These fingers, dear hearts, are always a war and a tugging, one against another. Now watch them. Oh, brother, left hand. Left hand hates a fighting. And it looks like love's a gone. But wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hi! Dog love's doing it. Yes, sir. It's love that won. And old left hand hate us down for the count. I never heard it better told. I wish every soul in this community could get the benefit. Oh, you just got to stay for our picnic Sunday. No, I must find my way down the river on the boat, business. You ain't even in no hurry if we can help it. John, mind your manners. Take that look on your face. Act nice. What are you doing? Don't get in street boy. Do you, boy? How uh, many's the time poor brother Ben told me about these young ones? What'd he tell you? Why, he told me what fine little man he was, Mr. Pope was. Is that all? Why, no, boy. He told me lots and lots of things. Nice things, boy. Thank you. <gasps> Mr. Powell, is something to tell you? Well, John. The night before your father died, he told me what he did with that money. That money at the bottom of the river, wrapped around a 12 pound cobblestone. Thank you, Amy. I feel clean now. My whole body's just a quivering with cleanness. <laughs>
fire is an abomination before mine eyes. Speak, boy, where's the kid? Speak. Speak or I'll cut your throat and leave you to pick like a hog hung up in butcher time. Not that I know. 